Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with honey sriracha chicken wings. That's right, not only are you gonna see a super delicious and unbelievably easy chicken wing glaze, but besides that, I'm also gonna show you the ultimate method for doing chicken wings in the oven that come out just as crispy as the deep fried ones. And yes, we've done many other oven fried chicken wing recipes, but this one quite frankly blows them all away. And the coolest thing is we're gonna do it with an ingredient you would never think in a million years would go on a chicken wing. Okay, so let's get started. And of course, none of this is gonna be possible without some chicken wings. So I have about two and a half pounds here of fresh chicken wing sections. You got your flats and you got your drums. And you can usually find these already cut up like this. But if you do buy the whole ones, we've posted videos to show you how to break those down. So I'll put a link to that somewhere. And once we're all set with our wings, we can move on to the spice rub, which is gonna start off pretty routinely with some kosher salt. We're also gonna add some freshly ground black pepper, and then we'll add a little bit of smoked paprika. So, so far, nothing too out of the ordinary. But then, to this, we're gonna add two spoons of baking powder. No, I haven't been drinking. We're gonna add in two big spoons of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder, and we'll give that a mix. And believe it or not, that baking powder is gonna cause a chemical reaction on the surface of those wings that's gonna very, very closely mimic what happens when you deep fry them. So once that's mixed up, we're gonna sprinkle over about half and we'll give that a little toss to coat. Then we will dump over the other half of the mixture, give it another toss. Okay, we want all these chicken wings perfectly and evenly coated with that mixture. And once our wings have been tossed in our spice mixture, we'll go ahead and transfer those onto a sheet pan and what I like to do here is put down a piece of foil and then place a baking rack right on top. And then I'll transfer the wings on top of that rack. And this will still work if you don't have one of those. But by raising those wings up a little bit, we're gonna get heat convection underneath, which really does help the crisping process. And of course, you're gonna place these down thoughtfully. We don't want them on top of each other. We want them evenly spaced. And once those have been panned up, we'll go ahead and transfer those into the center of a 425 degree oven for 20 minutes, at which point we'll pull them out and give them a turn. And do not expect these to look good at this point. In fact, they look the opposite of good. They look strange and scary. Because of that baking powder, the skin's gonna take on a very dry, kind of white powdery appearance that once saturated with the natural chicken fats in the skin is gonna turn unbelievably crispy. So we're gonna give those a turn and we're gonna put them back in for another 20 minutes. At which point we'll pull them out and repeat the process. And now you can see most of that dry surface has disappeared. You may still see a little dry spot here and there, no big deal. Those areas should get saturated with the fat as these cook. But if you're nervous, you can always dab some available chicken fat on those spots. So like I said, we'll flip those over. And then what we'll do is we'll pop those back in for another 10, 15 minutes or so until they're brown and crispy. It's gonna depend on the size of your wings and other variables. So we'll go ahead and pop those back in to finish cooking. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and mix up our honey sriracha glaze, which as I mentioned is incredibly easy. In fact, this is so simple, it's almost not a recipe. So let's add some honey to a bowl. And then to our honey, we're basically gonna add the same amount of si ra cha, which is how I've been told to pronounce it. Three distinct syllables, si ra cha. Although you know what, that sounds kind of weird. I'm going back to sriracha. And then besides the two main ingredients, we're also gonna put in a little drizzle of rice vinegar and a few drops of sesame oil, just a few. And we'll give that a mix and that's pretty much it. So our glaze is set. At this point, we'll head back to the oven to grab our wings, which are hopefully cooked by now. So let's check it out, and oh yeah, those are done. And you'll know because the meat will be tender, and those wings will be beautifully browned and crispy. Like crispy for real. Check it out. Fork don't lie. And by the way, if you're thinking, great, they're crispy, but it tastes like baking powder now. It does not at all. You would never know it was ever on there. And of course, I could explain scientifically how all this works, you know, after learning it myself. But why bother? Who says we have to understand everything? All I know is that it produces an incredibly crispy wing with absolutely no off flavor. So just an incredibly cool and super effective technique. And of course, for our last step, we're gonna to toss those in a bowl. We will drizzle over our glaze and we'll flip those around to coat. Sure, you can use a spatula or a spoon for this part, but I really prefer the old buffalo bowl flip, but that's up to you. You are the boss of your sauce toss. And by the way, look how gorgeous that sauce is. That color is so beautiful, it looks artificial, which is like the ultimate compliment. And then once our formerly crispy wings are coated in that glaze, we'll transfer that to a serving platter. And because we used some sesame oil earlier, it's completely legal and appropriate to sprinkle a few sesame seeds on top. And sure, that's a garnish, but mostly it's to identify these are not, not your average buffalo chicken wing. Oh, far from it. So let me go in for the official taste. 
and we'll forget about texture for a minute. This glaze is so good. I think it just has that perfect balance between sweet and heat. And then above and beyond that magnificent taste, the texture really is almost identical to what you get out of a deep fryer. And by the way, if you're wondering, why does it matter if the wings are crisp? If you're going to toss them in a wet sauce anyway, that's a great question. But the reason the deep fried buffalo wings are so much better is because the surface grabs on and holds the sauce. All right, it's almost as if the skin kind of fuses to the meat and really soaks in the sauce into all those little micro blisters. Whereas a baked wing has a much smoother, much more slippery, kind of flabby surface. And it just doesn't hold on to the sauce as well, okay? But anyway, that's it. Honey Sriracha Chicken Wings. Every year about this time, I get tons of email asking, Chef John, of all your oven cooked chicken wing methods, what would you say is the best? And I never knew how to answer that because they all were about the same. Now I know how to answer that. This is the best. So I really do hope you give it a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.